I am in the United States to fight. That's why I chose to move from Denmark to, to Phoenix. I'm here to fight, I'm eager to fight, and um, we have a fight. <laughs> What was your reaction when you saw Mark's matchup announced versus Jakar? Mm, I liked it. And the reason why I liked it is because of the history that they have, uh, the gems, the rivalry. And I do believe that Jakar called out Mark, I believe after one of the pay-per-views or one of the one of the fight cards. And it's just it's, it's just it's a really good rivalry because it's the lab versus fight ready. So if you guys know the whole history, like these are two gems that that are always fighting against each other, whether it's uh, a UFC fight or a local MMA show here in uh, here in Phoenix. Yeah, but there's, there's so many here. Did Jakar respond? No. I finally get a chance to fight the dude who pulled out. Who pulled out after a fight? Who got pushed by a featherweight? I ain't a featherweight nor your girlfriend. Don't pull out, princess. Mark Matson. Damn, Mark. Welcome to the dark side, dude. The story with Draka Close being a, a former fight ready fighter, having trained with and under Eddie uh, and Santino, and then apparently uh, having a beef with them and moving to the lap is, is, is just a, an exciting story. Imagine this the UFC is comprised of fighters from all over the world, and the one fighter that I'm fight next is located right here in Phoenix. I mean, he is literally down the street. How cool is that? So I guess this is a local a local fight. We're fighting for more than just a win. I guess we're fighting for the title, being the best Phoenix gym around. It's way too complicated. We just want to run. Run or sprint? Go! This guy is like literally. I tell him how to fix something in five seconds. He fixes it. Yeah. He already knows the he already knows the basis of the kicks. Watching his fights, you can see he knows how to throw these kicks. There's just small little minor adjustments he needs, like like when he throws the kick, he needs to, there's a place where he needs to put his hands. There were just small adjustments to fix. It's easy. He's smart. He's Olympian. It's absolutely crucial that I go in and dominate, and that I show. Uh, a decisive win, being able to put him away or submit him or dominate him in all aspects of the game uh, is crucial. So I'm heading back from UFC 278. We just visited Salt Lake City, had an amazing experience. When did you get to the arena? What, what what fights did you start watching? We came in right before prelims. Right before prelims, okay. Like a pay-per-view, I wanted to look, I wanted to watch as many fights as possible. Yeah. Did you get a chance to watch a key fight? I actually, I, I didn't see his, I didn't see his fight. I saw it on uh, ESPN app. You're a nice team, eh? <laughs> I mean, they, you know, the UFC fighters, like a lot of these guys, they're just not elite. You know what I mean? They're not. They're not elite. They fight just to fight. They throw just to throw. You know what I mean? It's like, there's no, you can tell when somebody has a game plan. Somebody does it. Like Kamaru Usman, he had a game plan. It's unfortunate, it's unfortunate what happened, you know, at the end. But... At least he had a game plan going in there. Watch all his fights. Yeah. For uh, literally, what we focused on: how to flex on using your heel, push it down, um, and then knees. We need uh, uh, um, all his fights. He just holds. I think it's going to be a great fight, but I know there's a lot of tension between. Uh, Dracar and me and the team and stuff like that, but I don't have any animosity towards him. 
I wish him nothing but the best, and uh, I think it's going to be a good fight. I know you got the tools to beat him. It's just like the structure, you know, of the camp. Oh, Mark's a, uh, a workhorse. I mean, he's not only an Olympian, he's a silver medalist, five-time world, and everybody in wrestling knows how hard that is. Just a medal, more or less, five times at Worlds, which is uh, literally a decade. Um, but, uh, yeah, you tell him to do something, he does it. Um, he's one of the strongest guys at a gym at 55. Um, he, he's coming around. I mean, <clears throat> what do you say about a guy that literally moves his family for two-year commitment just for one goal? And uh, I'm honored to be a part of that goal. What is your expectations for this Drakkar close fight? Mark's going to win. So we're 10 weeks out. Next 10 weeks is going to be super exciting. I'm going to bring out the Olympian, plugging him with a cup of coffee. Kind of outwork, outsleep, outperform the car closer. Looking to retire this guy October 29th. Couldn't be more excited. Let's get to work.